Okay, so we're going to do an awake intubation and just kind of see how long it, long it takes with just topicalization. Um, I'm going to use 5% lidocaine. I'm going to start with a little bit of uh, lidocaine gargle, and then uh, I'm going to use the Batoon atomizer uh, that's kind of home built here uh, to get the deep oral pharynx and stuff like that, and then use the scope to intubate. And uh, if I need to, I'll, I have an epidural catheter here with uh, some 5% attached to it that I can spray the cords or whatever if I have to. So let's go and give it a start and see how long it takes us. It is about 4.37 here. <coughs> That's always the most delicious part. <clears throat> okay, so I got this turned on to about 10 liters. <coughs> and I have the nebulizer set up. So now, let me just make sure it's working. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so we're just going to start topicalizing. I don't really work, worry about the tongue, I just kind of work deeper and I'm mainly aiming for the volecula and the epiglottis and a little bit of the arytenoids. <clears throat> This isn't the funnest, but it's it's not too bad. It's only an irritation from the stuff sometimes when you're spraying it, especially if you try to time with inhalations, it's going down the trachea, which is what you want anyways. Give it a little bit of break in between. Let it work up. <clears throat> so I've used <coughs> about three and a half cc so far, the four percent or five percent, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, that's it for topicalization. I don't know how long that took. It seemed to take too long. <clears throat> and since I'm a little wuss, I just use I'm using a five and a half here. So, all right. Get my scope loaded up, and I've practiced just doing this with one hand like this, doing my injection and control. Um, you know, you can still do your suction like that if you need to, but you can't really use suction if you're using the port for uh, for the sprayer. So, all right, let's do this. My orientation. There we go. So there you go, awake intubation, it took about four minutes or so, um, not too bad, and I did it all without injections and I stayed pretty comfortable. And if you add a little bit of Versed and ketamine or whatever to this, uh, I think it'll go even a lot further, it'll be even more comfortable than nothing, you know, like I did it. So there you go.